there they are so if Jester was you know worth anything he would be able to get this track like I can so I've come to really like this uh, low-level intercept training as it were that comes with the Phantom um, get to go up against four frogfoots do a little BBR a little different radar mode selection options as you practice this um, get to practice a little radar work from Jester's seat if you want to dog fighting dog fighting some planes that can turn really really well let's get our stuff ourself fenced in here Sparrow interlink out ready to jettison my tanks pinky switch to radar back to Jester's seat and switch the aspect knob to forward so we could take a, a lockless Sparrow shot, which we kind of want to get rid of these Sparrows before we start turning. We still have four heaters to use. Um, I'm going to get on the deck. Let's see here, actually. Try and take advantage of Jester here. Radar. Autofocus. I think that helps him adjust the gain better. Okay. 10,000 feet at 30 miles. Actually, 10 to 20,000 feet at 30 miles. Let's try that. Scam type 25. Roger. Narrow. His antenna's too high. He's not picking up anything out there. Let's tell him to go 3,500 feet off. That looks better. 3,500 feet up off of center. And, you know, he's not uh, bringing his cursor out to anything, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna punch the tanks here. Before I forget, I'm gonna stay on the deck. I'm gonna go to Active pause, go back to his seat. Just a couple settings here. Bring the antenna up myself, bring the gain up. And I've, I've got him right here. There they are. So, if Jester was, you know, worth anything, he would be able to get this track like I can. This is probably probably not a good track, but if you tell him to break lock, steering updated to next turn point. You know, that standard scan. Standard scan now he knows where these guys scan. are, yep. and he'll focus on them, and maybe get a Left he'll five, at least track them. One thousand eight hundred. Let's go to foresight. Lock. Uh, Roger. Come on, dude. Lock, 1,000, 1, 1,002, 1, 1,003, 1, 1,004, shoot. Roger. Chevy 3, 1, focus. Break lock. Let's take some visual shots here. 1, Mississippi, 3, Mississippi, 3, Mississippi, 4, Mississippi, shoot him. Break lock. We've got a SU-25, 12 o'clock, 3 miles. Focus, 1, 1, bra, 0, 9, 1, 4, 5, at 5, 5, 5. Next turn point is in. Okay, well, we at least got one guy. Now, let's see if we can practice. I'll hang on to one sparrow. SU-25, 7 o'clock. SU-25, 1 o'clock. 1 mile. Chevy 3-1, focus. 1-1, one, one. bra. 3-3-8-4-1, at 5,000 knots. Too many Gs. Let's see if I can use the CAA mode. Just for good We've practice here. We've got an SU-25, 1 o'clock, 2 so miles, in foresight. 12 o'clock, 12 o'clock now. Probably won't be able to pick him up against the ground, but, uh... He's at our 12 o'clock. These guys have R60M all-aspect missiles, so these, these infrared missiles can really... 11 o'clock now, and another at... If they get a shot on you, you're dead, pretty much. Let's see if I can get the CAA lock to work here. Nose wheel steering. He's at our six o'clock and another at twelve o'clock. Looks like maybe I picked him up there. I don't know. Is he gonna hit the ground? No. If he climbs, I think I'll be able to use this mode, otherwise I'm going to have to use a uh, heater on him. There we go. Cool. 
He's at our two o'clock. He's at our three o'clock. This guy's refusing to climb. Three o'clock, three o'clock now. Until now, very cool. Six o'clock high. Six o'clock high. Back to radar. Got rid of my other sparrow there. Twelve o'clock, twelve o'clock now. Let's see if I can get a gun's kill on him. So, you know, we did get a chance to try out uh, uh, Boresight Lock, which pretty much failed. Uh, we did get one shot with the Flood Mode, you know, which to me, it, it depends on who you're going against. But, you know, I think uh, a player in a MiG-21, for instance, would, would probably take you out before you made that shot in a lot of situations. Uh, we were just so close to him. It doesn't seem to really work outside of four miles. I'm going to give it another shot here, but... Uh, Give this mission a try. This is this is a lot of fun, and you can really get some good dogfighting practice in. I mean, I was just slowly kind of turn fighting him there. Um, if there had been other frogfoots around, they probably could have shot me from behind with the uh, R60M. But um, this is a fantastic place to practice. You know, going high and diving down and just spiraling and out climbing these guys. Hope you appreciate the video. Thank you.